Hello, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. It's a general reading, so just bear that in mind. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a lot of Scorpio in your chart, Scorpio, this is basically a timeless reading, but it is a general energy chart, so I am making this video Excuse me, I'm making this video in December 2021, it's December 15th, uh, but it is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, it was probably meant for you, if it resonates, and uh, if it finds you now, in the current moment in December, it's probably uh, relevant to your December energies. Uh, yeah, Scorpio, if you enjoy my readings and you like my vibe, you know what to do. Comment below, like the video, subscribe. I just like to thank all you Scorpios out there uh, for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you. It really helps me. You have no idea how much that helps me and helps my channel. And yeah, and you don't have to subscribe or comment if you don't want to. It's okay. Just enjoy the readings. Uh, I am a Scorpio, so this is low-key a Scorpio channel. And a big shout out to another Scorpio who's been so, so wonderful, Angie. Uh, she has an amazing uh, a Scorpio uh, tarot channel. She has amazing tarot readings on her channel. Uh, all the information about her is in the description box below. Uh, the link to her channel. If you're watching me, you've probably already seen her videos. She's been nothing but sweet and lovely to me. I just have so much gratitude towards her because I am really new here. Uh, I've been on YouTube for three months and Angie's just been so lovely and so helpful and just for no reason, just putting all the love out there. I can definitely say that she is a real one. You know what I mean? Um, genuine, like on all levels and such a loving person and um, very interesting tarot reader. So uh, I was a fan of hers when I started uh, doing tarot on YouTube and I still am. So uh, check her out. Uh, and if you know her, cause you probably know her, uh, get to know her even more. Oops. That's too many cards, Scorpio. Uh, anyway, weird energies for us Scorpios today. I have to say to you Scorpio, this is gonna be a uh, shorter, well, not a shorter version, but we're gonna try and keep this reading short. I'll tell you what happened today. It was kind of weird. Um, even before I did a reading for Scorpio today, I started getting messages about just like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't channel, so I'm not one of those people. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just, I don't have that talent. I don't channel stuff. But I feel like, um, Ten of Cups. Hmm. I'll tell you what, Scorpio. You have some doubts about your life and your happiness. Maybe you're afraid you'll never reach that happiness that you have in your heart that you know you want. You will achieve it. You will achieve great happiness. Great happiness. And possibly wealth. And it will be thanks to your sensitivity. Uh... Your sensitivity and your incredible depth will bring you the partner that you dream of and will bring you the kind of job you dream of, career. Um, you will be admired by many and you will be the boss in your own life. Like you will be the boss and people will respect you greatly. They will literally kneel before you, not literally figuratively, but they will. there will be people admiring you greatly. Uh, you, you'll be like a shining light. See, I'm getting these messages again. So what happened with Scorpio? Okay, let's just get into your love reading now. But there's a profound message, a, a profound message coming in for Scorpio today. Um, very mystical, deep. Uh, the love readings are turning into like overall spiritual readings. It's kind of weird. Three of Wands again. <laughs> Someone stole your crown, Scorpio. And you're in the past. You had a lot of hardships. Someone stole your light, stole your crown, whatever that means to you. You'll know what it means. Someone tried to dim your light, steal your light. Someone stole your crown. But justice is being served because the fates have been working in your favor. Karma is coming back around. And you will be uh, rewarded for persevering on your mission in life. So yeah, Scorpio, we've been getting all these mystical reads. I I did like two, I did two love readings because one ended up being forty minutes long, and so I so I thought, well, let's leave the forty minute long one. So it just like all these messages started coming through, and I started getting messages as I was saying even before the reading. And I never channel stuff. I'm not like you know what I mean. I'm just not that plugged in. I 
I just think of myself as a tarot reader. I just read the cards. But I don't know. I just, it's just one of those days. Sometimes I guess stuff does come through. So stuff started coming through uh, for me for Scorpio before the reading. Then we did the reading. And then the reading just turned all mystical and deep and on another level and it got really long so i thought well let me do another reading that's just a bit more accessible just for the love <laughs> and then that one turned into exactly the same thing very similar messages very profound still about love but like all these other things started coming out so i thought okay let's do a third reading third time lucky right let's do a third shorter reading for scorpio let's see how we go with it but yeah i just want to do a reading just a love reading today timeless love reading for scorpio with these angels so that uh, the Scorpios who don't like uh, to watch longer videos can also get their messages today. So that's what's been happening, Scorpio. How Scorpio of us, huh? Show me angels what happened in the recent past to make Scorpio situations so. Hmm. I don't know. Let's clarify. Yeah, four of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. The situation clarified itself for you and a person, Scorpio, recently. Yes. There was an ending. There was an ending because something came to light. Let's see. What was it that came to light, please, angels? Huh. Someone's true perspective came to light here, Scorpio. Uh, let me get another deck. What, what was it about? About what, please? What about? Huh. Okay. That's what I thought. So interesting. That's what I thought. <sighs> wow. Okay. So something became clarified here for you uh, with the sun card, Scorpio, in the recent past with your person. It was a perspective. Someone's perspective had become clear to you. And it was regarding commitment to the pentacles. It was regarding commitment. This happens all the time, right? Um, you were not on the same page in terms of what a commitment means. Whatever your situation was, whether it was a long-term established 20-year-old marriage, a uh, himbo bimbo from Tinder you met on a Tuesday or anyone in between, right? And it was about commitment, how you you know understand commitment. Should you have a family together? Should you continue in the family? Um, should you have children? Finances, how to spread the, the finances, who should take care of whom. There is some under, underhanded behavior. Your person, your person did not represent their perspective on commitment correctly. They misled you, actually. And it could have been something that went on and on for years. You know, those people who are in relationships for years and years and years, and then they like just never show you their true face. Unfortunately, that could have been the case for you. It wasn't like super big lies, but it was like maybe that person was like, oh, you know, I want children because you wanted children. And then when it came to it, they kind of didn't want children. Could have been finances. For some of you, I see like this person was kind of picking at the old uh, bank account, maybe taking money out that you didn't know about. For some of you. If it's a newer connection, it just became clear as you were dating, as you were communicating, that this person, you know, they didn't want a commitment. They didn't want to put a label on it. They didn't want to call you girlfriend, boyfriend, anyone in between. They just wanted, you know, a loosey goosey situation you came into the situation concrete your person could be a bit of a charmer as well sweet talker but you are concrete you're the queen of pentacles you have a lot of self-respect disregard the gender it's only arbitrary it is energies um but the queen of pentacles you know she is in her power 
um, queen, king, in her power, this is someone who has it going on in their job, in their uh, personal life. They look great, they smell great, people admire her. Uh, she's very self-sufficient. She like she's She's got her business under control. And this is someone who's looking for a divine counterpart, a powerful king, uh, someone to lift her up. Uh, she has, um, she's holding grapes here in this card. Um, you know, this is someone who could have been, found a lot of nourishment from this queen. Who could have um, who could have drank the wine the cup of her love her love can be quite intoxicating she really knows how to nourish um, she's a great um, yeah she's a great caretaker but not in a kind of um, boring mousy housewifey kind of way like stereotypical not saying that housewives aren't amazing or mousiness is amazing which it is but you know, like that whole like stereotypical old fashioned idea that you know, of a housewife that's just like frustrated and whatever. Um, this is like, you know, this is like the mother goddess. This is the sacred housewife. This is the housewife who loves herself, respects herself and can give unto, unto others, not because it's a sacrifice because society expects her to be a housewife from the 1950s, but because she chooses to be the mother goddess. Um, yeah, this 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 person, this queen, she's got it going on. That person didn't have a lot to offer to this queen in the end. So it ended. The situation ended. Probably there was a conversation. A truth was revealed here with the Ace of Swords, which I feel the sun was illuminating. The truth that this commitment cannot work work out for some of you. Maybe it was about finances as well. And um, yeah, that was it. That was the end. Um, you kind of had to part even though there, there's a lot of I feel like there's still a lot of chemistry between you you kind of had to part because there was no other way I feel like it's possible that your person may have traveled so when this ended or it ended partly because your person decided to travel go out into the world uh, real some kind of a relocation or perhaps travel they, they're just like going through some kind of a personal crisis finding themselves kind of a vibe and they're traveling the world hmm Okay, can we have feelings and wants? Mm. Well, I think it's for the best, Scorpio. Oh my God, surprise, surprises, surprises, interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Scorpio, I'm so sorry. That was uh, the sneeze for the ages. Why did I sneeze? I Sneezed thrice, I think, didn't I? Was it three times? Is someone sneezing? What does that even mean? I don't even know what a sneeze might mean in the tarot reading. I Maybe I smell a rat and a liar? I don't know, but I'm not sure that I do. A little bit, a little bit. Seven of Swords for their feelings currently. They're hiding their feelings from you. They're trying to run away from their own feelings too. There's a long shadow being cast on them. They're, they're in a lot of guilt. They know they did some underhanded behavior with you. They know they misled you. They feel guilty towards you. They're running away from their feelings and they don't want you to know that they have feelings. I don't know why, because they're prideful. Um, Five of Pentacles, you feel abandoned by this person. You feel cheated. You feel hard done by. I'm not surprised. I would too, Scorpio. Um, your person is, ooh, interesting. Your person is disappointed. I wonder why. But they don't want you to see their hiding, hiding energy. Seven of the stories, five of cups. Disappointment here, but it's more hiding, especially in this deck. Um, this card is hiding. They want to w run away from the situation because they know that, you know, the sun brought to light some things about them that they weren't being 100% truthful with you and they want to hide from that truth. Seven of Cups, you want to finally get some uh, peace of mind on this. You want to know exactly what happened. You feel like maybe they, you have mixed feelings because you believed this person, you invested. Uh, even if it was a new connection, I feel like you invested yourself into it, Scorpio, because once Scorpio trusts someone, you know, it's hard to get through the wall to a Scorpio, but once you're in, then when the Scorpio opens up, then it's really hard to let go for the Scorpio. I feel like your person jumped the fence a little bit here, you know, like they infiltrated the Scorpio fortress with deceit and they know it. 
So you're still in a kind of confusion cloud here, uh, trying to make sense of your feelings, trying to uh, take your power back. Um, you might be appealing to a higher power if you're sp spiritually inclined, and that is serving you very well. Uh, what I have here in terms of what your person is going to do about this situation is this person is just blowing my mind. They're going to come in here like um, with a cup of love to you. They're going to communicate with you. A uh, cup of love, king of cups, not like uh, all this BS energy where they were uh, maybe not truthful, whatever. They're coming on full. They're going to come on so strong. It's so weird because they're hiding from their feelings currently. Seven of swords. But they're not going to be able to keep away from you. There's something about you that um, that keeps them bound to you. I wonder if you're dealing with another Scorpio. Less evolved Scorpio. Could be. Or a water sign. Could be a Pisces. Cancer. But I don't know. I'm getting a Pisces. Uh, I don't know why. I love Pisces, by the way. Not a judgment. But I'm just getting... I feel like it might be a Pisces. You might be dealing with a Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be, right? But it could be. So, yeah, this person is going to come in full force, declaring full love with a capital L. They're going to be like, forget all this commitment phobia I had. Forget all this whatever I did. Um, shady stuff I told you. Didn't keep that promise. Like, I actually want this so bad. I cannot live without you. You are the only one. You are my air, my water. I can't breathe without you. <laughs> oh, my God. I just snorted. Knight of Cups. You might reciprocate, but you're you're not sure if you want to reciprocate. You're gonna you got the Knight of Cups. You're gonna accept this offer. You're gonna accept this person's. Um, you're gonna accept this person's declaration of love, love with the capital L. But you might kind of listen to what they have to say and then just walk away. You see, this Knight is walking away from the King here. I feel like you're gonna listen to what they have to say and be like, "Oh, that's nice. That's so nice." That's so cute. Yeah, you should have said that to me. We had the chance because Scribio is not your second chance saloon. That's for sure. <laughs> don't ever do that to us. Don't toy with a Scribio. Don't treat them like an option and then come back and asking for another chance because maybe the Scribio will give you many chances, but then once that's done, it's done. And you already feel abandoned by this person. That's the Scribio energy that turns into stone cold silence. Let's see what the advice here is. Be strong, Scorpio. Be strong. Don't let this person trigger any demons inside of you. Um, control your emotions. Control yourself with this person. Because I feel like when they come in with this big offer, it might, you know, it might trigger you. It might make you emotional. Just, you know, be in your power. What is the long-term prospect? Hmm. The long-term prospect is unknown. At this time, the tarot doesn't want to tell us. The moon. I would say it's more positive than negative, though. Hmm. Yeah, it could be a new beginning here. It's the ones. This could very well be a new beginning with this person, if you want to give them a chance. Uh, let, let me use another deck to clarify this person. The person, what intentions do they bring with this King of Cups? <laughs> yeah, they don't want to let you go now. They're in a panic. This person's in a panic. Yeah, they want to like, look, they don't want to let you go and they want to do it at all costs. The Page of Swords. So they might even use some slightly deceptive tactics again, but just to keep you because they want to keep you. King of Cups. They have pure intentions as far as this person is concerned, but I feel like this person is a little bit shady in how they are anyway. It's a bit of a slippery fish. That's why I was thinking maybe it's a Pisces. It's like a little bit, but like the dark side of Pisces. Pisces, if you're a cross watcher, don't, don't be offended. I love my Pisces. Oh, Pisces and Scorpio is like a match made in heaven for friends and for everything, you know? But this one is a bit of a slippery fish. A little fishy, you know? A little bit of a slippery fish. Um, what else is coming in for Scorpio and Love? 
yeah, you know, you might be amused by this new offer and this person very well may have had this transformation because Scorpio does transform people and they have deep regrets that they let you go. But I feel like something bigger and better is coming for you in love. You have the Empress. No joke, Scorpio. Every Scorpio reading. This is the third reading we're doing, right? Uh, the other two readings have Empress prominently. If you want to uh, look at those messages, check out those other two videos. Um, you have something bigger and better coming in. A true soulmate power couple relationship. Something uh, deep, uh, fertile, fertile with creativity. Possibly children, if you're looking to have children. Um, you're going to be so in your power. So in your amazing power. And even if you have to be single for a little bit. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't date. You should totally date. You know, if you end things with this person, if you walk away from this person, I see this in this Knight of Cups here. It's obviously your choice. It's free will. These things do change. This is just guidance. It's your general reading. But I feel like, you know, even if you date for a little bit, you'll be in your power as the single empress. Uh, to regard the gender, it's arbitrary. Empress, emperor, anyone in between. But you will be in this power. And then kind of you'll be like walking through the world. Literally, she's walking around in a field, right? You'll be walking through the field. Be like, I'm the empress. I'm the emperor. Anyone in between. And then... You'll be dating different people. You'll be like, no, this one I don't like it. No, this one I don't like it. I don't like it. And then like one day, like you just meet the right person and it's coming in faster than you think. Um, perhaps within a period of threes, uh, three weeks, three months, even three days for some of you. Or by, by springtime, spring or summertime, you'll bump into that person. You won't even be expecting it. You won't even be expecting it. Um, random thought here. Uh, this is like literally a message for one person watching this. <clears throat> but if you have a, a, a connection to Italy, you might have a connection to Italy. Uh, Italy might be significant, the country. Um, maybe you have a connection to your family or a person will have a connection to their family to Italy or you will go to Italy, something with Italy. But this is a specific message. It's just coming through a little bit. So Italy might be significant to some of you. Uh, and that's uh, that's what I have here for you. I feel like something bigger and better is coming. You just you just walk into this new person, walking around in the world, doing your thing, being amazing, Scorpio. Um, but you know this other person is coming in. This person that we were reading for, um, they just realized they love you and they actually want a commitment. So. I don't know. It's up to you, Scorpio. I really can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you what I see in the cards. Uh, but I do appreciate you greatly, Scorpio. Again, thank you for all the Scorpio love. Uh, this is definitely a Scorpio club here. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Scorpio. I love you. Uh, let me know in the comments below what resonated for you. Tell me your story. I will see you next time. And may the angels protect you.